unable to add members to an approval group in BPM. So this is an issue I faced myself while I was trying to add members to a new approval group and no matter what I do the predefined employees simply doesn't come in the approval group at all. Let me show you the issue first and then I'm going to take you to the resolution. In fact there are two resolution. One is a basic resolution. I think 99% of the time that resolution solves this issue but 1% of the time there is it doesn't solve. So for that there is a higher level resolution which is the resolution number 2. So both of that I'm going to demonstrate you in this particular video. So let's go to Oracle Fusion Cloud instance and try to understand this issue first before we take the steps for its resolution. Alright, so here I am in Oracle Fusion Cloud instance and before we proceed further I'm going to quickly show you the release and version of the instance we are in. So as you could see we are on release 13 with a version of 21D which is the latest one at the moment. Having said that, I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you how you can replicate the issue. So this issue has come to me while I was defining some approval groups within procurement, but approval groups are something that you can also define in financial, for example, invoice approval or uh, in receivables and so on. But anyway, this time I'm going to show you the solution for procurement, but the same solution holds good for approval groups you define anywhere whether it's financial procurement CRM or any other stream okay so from uh, the setups I'm gonna choose a offering of uh, procurement and uh, then I will look for in the in this particular task something called as approval and then hit the search and that will let me look for you see manage approval groups okay so you click on this one or alternatively you can uh, go and look for your functional area specific approval group but in any case this link is going to take you to the common form for defining the approval groups okay once again you click on manage approval groups and that will open another form or another uh, browser which is going to load the details of approval groups. So as you could see a number of approval groups are already defined. So I'm going to define a new approval group and here I would give that approval group name as CPO Chief Procurement Officer Approval Group. Okay and once I do that then I'm going to click on save button and that would have saved the approval group as you could see. Now I'm going to click on this plus icon on the right hand side to add the members and when I uh, when I add some member over here and click on the search icon nothing happens. Uh, at the most what happens is a dialog box opens up like this another dialog box which is slightly bigger than that and it may have uh, some more criteria or nothing happens you see this opens and if I give some name of a person let's say something like this and then hit the search button nothing happens I don't get any search here at all and I tried always uh, with different search criteria no matter what I do I don't get the predefined employees in the search list at all so that is a major issue I have so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cancel this and then I'm gonna cancel this as well and uh, you see this is already saved so don't worry about it if it is not saved then make sure it, the approval groups is saved and now I'm going to go back to setup and maintenance so you know what this issue basically comes when you have say for example you've got an employee role most of the time uh, in standard implementation uh, people end up in creating a custom employee role rather than choosing the standard employee role which is perfectly fine but then while they create a custom employee role they miss out in adding a specific role within their employee definition and that role is one which is responsible for this missing functionality so if you add this role you will start getting your uh, list of 
people in your approval groups definition so let me show you first all you have to do is go to user definition so you go to users and security and within that you go to manage job roles which will open another window and this is where you've got to and you see the role definition has come so basically the standard role that I was referring to starts with uh, say BPM and uh, in fact the whole role I have copied it already let me do this yeah B BPM no not this one I'm gonna take this off and this one BPM work list internal that is a role which is responsible for getting the list of values in your BPM approval groups if it isn't added to your custom employee role then that's where the missing functionality will be so make sure you add this role to your missing employee so that next time when you add the uh, custom employee role to a new employee definition then this role will be copied automatically from the definition of employee role okay now for for this example or for this demonstration let me pull out one specific user let's say Casey Brown okay there is no Casey Brown so let's say Kelvin Roth okay and I'm gonna open this user definition and then what I will do I will hit the edit button and then I will come down and here I will add a role and here I will search for that role BPM work list internal role okay so in this case looks like the role is already added okay um, so it should be over here in that case if you look for that particular role BPM it should be there either in, over here in this particular list or in the employee definition so you see employees added so in this case for this user the issue may not be there if I go to uh, the role definition of employee here I may probably have this role you see PPM workplace internal role is already there in employee hence the system is not providing us the option to add that role to that particular user called as Kelvin Roth but if you look for some other user if you if you have it in mind then all you have to do is make sure you add that uh, particular role there so I'm gonna tell you once again Okay, all you have to do is go to edit and then add role and make sure you add this particular role BPM workplace internal okay and uh, since this uh, this user also has a employee definition on which BPM workplace internal role is already attached hence it is not giving us the option but if employee is not attached then you will have the option over here okay once you add that then hit the save and close button and come out of that particular user so next time when you go into approval rules and look for that uh, uh, name list for adding to a approval group you will see right there appearing so let's go back and retry it all right so here I am and now I will try to retry and I'll look for um, user by the name of let's search by Emmy Marlin so let's try Emmy last name Marlin and then hit the search button and hopefully this time it should appear over here okay you see now it is appearing so that is how you solve that issue now you hit the ok button and you would be able to add as many users as you like
Now, just to give you a recap of what I was saying, the role of BPM worklist user, you have to add it to not the people you are adding in this particular approval list, but to the user who is creating the approval groups. In this particular case, this is the user who is creating the approval group. So you have to make sure you add the BPM worklist role to the user who is presently logged in. Okay. So you see now it is coming, but uh, you know I was uh, into certain implementation. I landed up into situation wherein even after doing this step the employee names were not coming so uh, that was a fresh vanilla implementation and uh, it took me a while to figure out so basically you have to run certain background processes for employee definition to sync up with your LDAP so that background process I'm gonna show you I think there are three or four so let's quickly go through that so all you have to do is go to uh, your setup and maintenance screen first and here I am in setup and maintenance and all you have to do is go to hamburger menu and then look for tools you see tools it's such a big menu and I wonder where tools are I think probably at the bottom yeah yeah there you go so you've got to go to tools and then schedule processes okay to run the background process this is the navigation and here you look for a schedule process click on schedule new process and then you type percentage L LDAP percentage okay and then you press the tab key so it will list down all the background processes under which LDAP name is there and I'm going to show you which is the one that you may want to run it okay so you have these LDAP processes and um, I guess uh, it will be a good idea that you run all the three processes which are listed over here so you see first one to start up with is send personal data for multiple users to LDAP then send pending LDAP request and then finally retrieve latest LDAP changes so start with this one and then I will demonstrate you this one but uh, later you can run these one out of yourself okay. and you hit the OK button so this process is run and in order to see the latest update on that process okay here you have got user population you say all users and then hit the submit button and you see this process is submitted ending with 588 request to refresh it and see the status you use this particular refresh button and here you see the latest update on this particular uh, process which you just submitted and momentarily it will be completed successfully see present it is running so I face this issue that despite adding that uh, uh, role BPM worklist role to my user I wasn't able to see the uh, employee in the approval groups I wasn't able to add and uh, then I ended up in running these three background processes and after which I have gone back and uh, reran or, or, or try to recreate the approval group and I was able to 
view the employees then so this is the solution i think the process is going to take a while because there are lots of users in the database but anyway you got the solution how to go about it try your uh, try your luck with these and even if it doesn't work you write it in the comments below and hopefully i'll try to help you uh, in pointing you to the right direction thanks for watching